key area where we use our scientific calculator is trigonometry. Uh, trigonometry is primarily concerned with these six operations here. Uh, all we're going to do today is look at where you would find them and when you would use the different types. So the first three, sin, cos and tan, they're quite easy to find. Sin, cos, tan, we would just enter them as they appear on the screen. Uh, sin to the minus one, cos to the minus one, tan to the minus one. The minus one means they are the inverse operation. If you see in yellow, you can see them here. So to select the inverse operations, it would sh simply be shift, sin, and it comes up with sin to the minus one. Likewise for cos and tangent. So the key question is, when do I use sin, cos and tan? Sin, cos and tan are primarily when we're involved in looking at the length of sides. Okay, so if you're looking for a question to do with the length of a side, you will use sin, cos, or tan. So the sin to the minus 1, cos, tan to the minus 1, they are involved when we are looking at the size of angles. You will go into much more depth with your teacher regarding this.